Hello everyone, welcome to Aperture Edge 4 minute videos for developers. In this video, we're going to see how quota policy flexi type works in Aperture Edge. Myself Anand Sagar, I work at Google and Aperture platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need Aperture Edge account. You need Aperture Edge uh, quota policy basic understanding. For that, you can refer earlier 4 minute videos. As you know, Aperture Edge uh, quota policy is used to enforce uh, API quota limitations within a fixed interval. Let's say if we restrict uh, the API quota to four per minute, then Apache Edge maintains a counter and tracks how many requests has been made to the backend. If there are more requests uh, within a minute interval, then it will gracefully de uh, decline those requests in Apache Edge. But how does by default this quota reset uh, happens after a minute? By default in Apache Edge quota policy, the quota resets at every start of the minute, if you, if you say a minute as an interval of the GMT time zone. Let's say if the time is 6.30 seconds, then that's where the quota resets and it will start a new counter. And the next interval, it will reset the quota on 6.31. But what if, if you want to start the timer exactly when the first request has been received by Apache Edge? That's where the flexi comes to the picture. When you say quota policy as a flexi type, then quota will start the counter when it requests, uh, when it when it receives the request from the client. Let's say if the Apache Edge receives the request at 6.30, 20 seconds, then it's gonna start the counter at that particular point of time. And the next reset will happen at 6.31, 20 seconds. Without the flexi type, then the reset will happen at 6.31, zero seconds. Let's see the flexi type in action in Apache Edge by creating a proxy and doing this hands-on. I'm logged into Apache Edge uh, uh, using org admin credentials and selected my particular org. Let's create an API proxy to see flexi type in action. Click on plus proxy button on top of the window and I'm gonna choose as a reverse proxy. I'll name it as uh, quota flexi demo. And I'm gonna say existing API as mark target dot dot net. Click next, choose the authorization as pass through, click next, choose the defaults, build and deploy the proxy. Let's add a quota policy and let's see the difference between default and uh, the flexi type. So I'm gonna add a quota policy and uh, choose as it is a default type. So I'm gonna add a quota policy and then change the type to default. That means no type. Uh, I'm gonna say allow count as four per minute, four per minute. I'm gonna say distributed to true and synchronous to true and remove the start time and asynchronous properties. We're gonna see how default works and we're gonna see then change the type to flexi and see how it works. So let's start the tray session. As you can see, the Greenwich time is 53 now. I'm gonna make few calls. One, two, and now the quota resets. Now it allows four more calls. One, two, three, four. As you can see, uh, we made almost like six calls because the quota got reset at zero second. Uh, and then it allowed four more calls. So we made two calls before the zero second and we made four calls after the zero second. So that's how the quota policy default type works uh, because it resets the counter at the start of the minute. So let's change it to the flexi type. Uh, I'm gonna change uh, the quota policy to type flexi so that it will start counting uh, from the first request. So I'm gonna save it as uh, type flexi. Now let's go to trace. Let's restart the trace session. Let's make an API call to see flexi in action. Uh, as you can see the timer, now it is 52. I'm gonna make a call. Uh, first one, second one, and then third one. As you can see, the quota now is getting reset. Now, ideally if it is default, it should allow four more. Since it is flexi, it should allow only one more and it will give you 500. There you go. So because since it will reset after some 48 second because the first request is made around 48 second. So that's how the flexi type works in Apache Edge. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in community.apache.com. Subscribe to YouTube channel or community topic to format video to get notified. Thank you for watching this video.